All right, so today we got something pretty cool, pretty retro. I think it's probably from the late 80s or maybe early 90s. Um, it's an Alana Neon Telephone Series, Executyne uh, NP300HM. Now, I tried to look this phone up, and uh, Google Image Search brought up a couple um, that maybe have been on eBay in the past. I, you know, couldn't really find any pricing information about it. Uh, I think it was sold at Sharper Image, um, although I have seen a similar one that doesn't have the marble finish. Um, that was sold at Radio Shack, probably the same, you know, guts. It had more buttons than this one. Um, but yeah, this is how I found it. And honestly, I mean, if it wasn't at the box and complete the way that it is that I'm going to show you, I mean, the thing looks like it's never been used. Um, and it's neon, so, you know, it caught my attention uh, that it had that neon light inside. Now, you see, the one on the cover is blue. Um, there's one on the back here that's pink. Shows you what the pink one looks like. Um, but we actually got green. Green neon tube, green and marble finish. Um, there it is again, green, green. Well, let's look at the features so. first. Uh, marbleized finish, tone pulse, switchable, ring on off, neon light on off, last number redial, pause, flash, mute, fully module, FCC approved, that's good. Hearing aid compatible. Uh, don't know what that, oh, I guess just if you're wearing a hearing aid you can use it, but how is that any different from a, I don't know. ETL approved, I don't know what the ETL is. Uh, if we come on this side, same thing, um, except we find out that Executyne LTD is at 210 uh, 13th Avenue, oh my god. Ron Con Coma. Ron Con is that how you say that? Ron Con Coma, New York, made in China. So it is made in China. Um, but yeah, the cool thing is, let's open this up and see how this is how. Now I did open it in the store just to make sure everything was there, and I actually plugged it in in the store to make sure it lit up. I'm gonna move this camera a little bit here. Um, and I. I did open it up in the store to make sure that it lit up, and it did. Um, I don't have a home phone line, so I can't test the fact that, you know, you could get a dial tone on it, but you'll see from the way that it looks, I'm sure that it works. I mean, this is exactly... I mean, there's a warranty card in here and everything. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't have a date on it. I was hoping I could date it from that. This is exactly how I found it. Bubble wrap on top, everything. I'm going to hide that because that has, warranty card actually has somebody's personal uh, information and address on it. Um, but let's just look at this real quick. Alright, so it comes with important safety instructions. Um, is there anything interesting in here? Save these instructions. Somebody did. There's a limited warranty registration here. Has the guy's name, address, from San Francisco, California. Uh, and it says name of dealer sharper image so it was purchased at sharper image has the model number the guy that bought it was between the age of 31 and 45 uh, whenever this was and then yeah the part with the date and everything is not filled out but and that's about it um, nothing nothing too exciting there um, okay so then everything was wrapped up I mean I said I, I wrapped this back up when I after I checked it, but there's your uh, for the DC power uh, inverter output DC 12 volts, also made in China. Then it comes with two phone cores. It comes with uh, a long one and a short one. So that was a thing, and. Finally, the centerpiece of it all. So I'm glad this was the green one. I, li I like the green. It's it's uh it's definitely got a lot of class. So yeah, I mean it's just the basic uh, phone. I mean it feels kind of it feels plasticky and kind of cheap. I mean you know like any late '80s, early '90s. Oh yeah, look at this. It's still got the uh, clear plastic. 
on the back here where the switches are. So I'm going to show you how it lights up because that's really the coolest thing here. So we turn the lamp on. So I haven't really tried anything else. Um, let's see, is there anything interesting on the back here? Neon telephone style, blah blah blah. Um, sh -sh -sh. Execudine, QC pass. Nothing real special there. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and plug it in. So there it is, all lit up. Making the little bit of a high piss. Uh, ooh. Making a little bit of a high pitch buzz there. And you can see it does. Oh, I think once it warms up, at first it kind of. The light looks kind of like it's flickering a little bit, but now it looks fine. Looks like after it warms up, it's fine. Um, one cool thing, when you do pick up the phone, the light sh shuts off. So actually, when I tested it in the store, no, the phone was on it. Well, that's a good thing, because I would have probably thought that it was broken if the phone was not on it. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's just got standard redial, pause, flash, mute, numbers. I mean, nothing... Nothing too exciting here. You can, like I said, you can turn that uh, light on or off. Just got a switch on the back there. Another switch for dial, and there's a switch for pulse too, which I don't mean. I don't know if that means if it's ringing the light pulses. That's kind of what I think. But uh, let me go ahead and shut these lights off. So yeah, I don't know. Just a cool looking phone. So there it is, the Executine Neon Phone. Um, like I said, if you're interested, this will be up on eBay. Um, probably going to start around $10 for this phone. Um, and you can check out that link in the description below. I got new stuff coming every week. So subscribe if you want to see more. And uh, if you don't, then don't. Alright, that's it for now.